Come on, baby girl. Crank up for me. Let's choke her. Smokey, smokey. Good morning, everyone. Time to wake up and go to work. Hope everyone's having a good day. I don't know if some of you guys have uh, seen my previous video on the KZ first ride, I need help. So since that video, I've just been driving this thing. Come on, dog, you gotta chill out. That dog's there a lot of times. I've been commuting on this thing instead of the TNT. She's been running pretty good. I adjusted more on the carbs. She's got a little bit more power. Still need to be a little fine-tuned. I'm not getting my full throttle. I think I might need to drop those center needles down one notch. Might be running a little rich up top. I got this old country back road on the way to work. I've also got a highway stretch I can take. I'll probably do it on the way out. Because today, I'm gonna top this girl out for the first time to see what she's got in her. I don't get any fun turns on the way to work. There's like two. Two turns that are semi-fun. KZ action! But yeah, I ordered a set of scrambler bars for this set, for this, uh, for this girl. I've yet to put them on. I don't have a good place to put on, to do uh, jobs on the bike. When I do a job on the bike, I have to do it all kind of within one day. I don't have a place I can really leave it all out. I've never changed bars before. I think it's pretty straightforward and easy, but I just don't know how long it will take. I'm trying to make sure I got full solid weather day, day dedicated to get putting those on. The oil has not been uh, leaking as bad. We did go and tighten up all the top bolts. Uh, it helped maybe a little bit. It definitely makes a difference with the weather. Here's the other turn. So I'm going to cut out, taking the highway. I guess I'll go tap this thing out on my lunchy. Once you get above 55, 60 miles an hour, the audio gets pretty crappy on these mics, guys. So we listen to the sweet jams. I'm going to pull over right here. I didn't latch my helmet. Your boy didn't latch his helmet. He's got a pull over anyway. I gotta set that GPS. I had a sub ask about a top speed on this. I'm doing it for you, buddy. Trip recorded. Let's go see what this thing's got. 92 miles an hour is what the book says. We'll see if it can uh, even get up to 92. For being 45 years old, little wear and tear. There's only 18,000 miles on this bike. For a 45 year old bike, that ain't bad. She doesn't have a problem climbing up to that speed. Come on, everything needs to stay in my pocket. Let's go for it. familiar huh all right let's see 
87 miles an hour, you guys. That's what she's got in her. Hey, that wheel's still over there. Nice. But yeah, uh, like I said, guys, uh, I'm kind of riding these. Uh, I said this in the previous video. Kind of riding these dual sports out. Uh, so far, they're pretty rocking. I've done nothing else to it besides work on those carbs. Just those. So, uh, you know, just been riding. With those bars, I'm going to put on here. So, here's the bars for these things that I ordered. I would not buy these bars again. These, from what I understand after I bought them, are hard to find bar and mirrors for. So unless you want to use these, put the stock mirrors back on, I don't think you're going to have a whole lot of luck unless you MacGyver that stuff. You might be able to hunt down some bar ends with this particular size, but apparently it's a weird size. That's what some guy was saying. But man, those are going to look sexy. It's going to give it that sportier feel. I might not like it. I don't know. I'm going to sit a little lower. I like the black on the black. Got the maroon with the black, a little bit of chrome accent. I'll let you know. Appreciate you watching if you got to this point. Thank you all the subscribers. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's always a good morning when you're on your moto. Can you imagine? Could you just imagine?